Hello everyone, let's see the fourth problem from bi-weekly contest 100, minimum time to repair cars. You are given an integer array ranks representing the ranks of some mechanics. Ranks of i is the rank of the ith mechanic. A mechanic with a rank r can repair n cars in r into n square minutes. Okay. You are also given an integer cars representing the total number of cars waiting in the garage to be repaired. Return the minimum time taken to uh, repair all the cars. Okay. All the mechanics can repair the cars simultaneously. Okay. So this is the ranks array and number of cars is 10 to be repaired. So the first mechanic was given two cars. Okay. So the time taken was 4 into 2 square, 16 minutes. The second mechanic was given two cars. So it took 8 minutes for him. The third mechanic wa was given two cars again. So 3 into 2 square, 12 minutes. And the last mechanic was given four cars. Okay. So he took 16 minutes. Okay. If we look at the constraints, it's uh, 10 power 5 okay our length of ranks can be 10 power 5 so a solution with n square complexity is definitely not possible right so we have to do something better than that okay also the thing is this is a minimization type of problem okay so to me this problem looks very similar to a binary search problem if you have solved the problems like cocoa eating bananas or uh, minimum time to complete all tasks something like that so the format is very similar to that okay so what we have to do is find the minimum time to repair all these cars. Okay. Now in these type of problems, what we do, we try to find the bounds. Okay. Like 16 is the time taken to repair all the cars. Okay. What can be the minimum possible time to repair a car? Let's say we have the rank of a, a mechanic is one and we have only one car. So in that case, what would be the minimum time to repair that car by that mechanic? It would be one into one square. Isn't it? That is one minute. So this is the minimum possible time. Okay minimum okay now what about the maximum time can we figure it out yes we can figure it out so for the maximum time we need the maximum possible rank and maximum possible number of cars okay so what is that maximum possible rank can be 100 and maximum possible number of cars can be 10 power 6 right so the maximum possible time can be this so what is that uh, this will be 10 power 12 two more that is 10 power 14 so this is the maximum possible time to repair maximum number of cars so we have found a min and max okay so minimum possible time maximum possible time so clearly our answer would lie something between minimum and maximum right in this case this is 16 in this case also it is 16 okay so our minimum time is 1 and maximum time is 10 power 14 right so our answer will lie somewhere inside between this right uh, this minimum and maximum right so what we do we will offer our uh, mechanics the minimum time okay starting from one and we will ask them okay please mechanics repair my 10 cars okay in one minute so it won't be possible right because we know our answer is 16 okay so then we will ask the mechanics to repair my 10 cars in two minutes they will say no it's not possible so then we'll go to three then we'll go to four like that isn't it now we know in order to repair uh, n cars, we require how much time? Rank into n square, right? n square time, okay. Where n is the number of cars, okay. Now, we are asking each of the mechanics that if I am giving you x amount of time or let's say t amount of time, how many cars can you repair in this time, okay? Then we will uh, offer this mechanic the same number of time, this mechanic the same number of time and this me mechanic the same number of time. And we will ask them that in this time, how many cars are you being able to repair in this time? Because they are working simultaneously, right? So we are offering the mechanic a t time, right? A time of amount t. Okay. And the mechanic is of rank this. Okay. And we are asking how many cars can you repair for me? Okay. Cars or let's say how many cars that is n. So this time is given, we are providing this time that mechanic repair me the cars in this time. So it is known the rank of the mechanic mechanic is known. What we are asking is the number of cars, isn't it? So how many cars can a mechanic repair in given we have this amount of time and we have this rank that is nothing but n square equals to time divided by R. Therefore, n equals to square root of time by r so when we provide our mechanic t amount of time okay whose rank is r our uh, mechanic will say that i can repair square root of time by r cars in the time you have provided okay
so the algorithm is pretty simple now okay we have our low which is one and we have our high 10 power 14 we will find the mid and we will ask our mechanics that hey mechanics how many cars can you repair me in mid number of time mid number of minute they will repair me some cars right let's say x okay let's say x if this x if this x is greater or equals to the given number of cars that is supposed to be re uh, repaired that that means the time we are providing is enough or more than enough right let's say we have provided a lot of time to our mechanics to repair uh, cars okay so the time we provided uh, our mechanic mechanics repaired a lot of cars okay more cars than it's actually required okay then that means we have provided surplus time isn't it so as we are supposed to minimize our time we will look for a lesser time that is in this area okay now we will ask the mechanics that okay hey mechanic in mid number of minutes how many cars can you repair they will say why then we will see if it is greater okay then we will still try to minimize isn't it otherwise if this y is lesser than cars okay if the number of amount of time that we provided to our mechanic if it is if it fell short in that amount of time if they are able to repair lesser number of cars okay lesser than this number of cars right that we are that we require okay then that means our time is short okay the time that we have provided is falling short so we need to increase our time okay so that's how the algorithm works it's pretty general isn't it if you check my binary search playlist i have already solved few problems okay so this is the thing now the thing is if this is a candidate okay we will look for a better solution isn't it we tried for a better solution but we still don't know it is not guaranteed that we will find a better solution so for that we need to keep keep it recorded isn't it that okay using this amount of time we could uh, repair this this many cars okay so there might be a chance right that uh, we can do better we can use lesser number of time so this might be a candidate so we will keep it recorded okay then we will try for a better one in case we don't in case we are not able to find uh, a better time okay this will be our answer okay so let's quickly write the code now long low equals to one and high equals to high equals to what 100 into 10 power 6 square right which is 10 power 14 1 e 14 okay let's say our long answer is zero for now okay we need to return long so while low is less than equals to high okay we will find mid long mid equals to low plus high minus low okay let's say long uh, how many cars let's say can repair let's say zero okay this is nothing but we are providing it t amount of time okay mid amount of time this is time okay assume time now we will iterate through the array okay ranks and we will offer each of the mechanics this amount of time okay so can repair plus equals to long of math dot square root of what mid by r isn't it why we already saw that we are providing this time this is nothing but mid okay the rank is already known we are providing to a mechanic of rank r how many cars can he repair that is n so how many cars can he repair he can repair square root of time by r or mid by r okay this mechanic that is mechanic one how many uh, cars can he repair the second mechanic let's say the second mechanic he can repair time by let's say r2 okay so this 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 guy repaired let's say x cars okay so this guy would repair y cars so the third mechanic would repair let's say z cars okay so this total number of cars if it is greater than equals to our required number of cars that should be re repaired okay this is the thing if the repair uh, cars that can be repaired in this amount of time if it is greater than equals to cars okay the number of cars that we are supposed to re repair then that means our time was surplus okay so in that case we will go to a smaller search space okay and we will record this record this possible answer the possible amount of time this can be an answer right otherwise if our time is falling short we will go to a bigger search space okay mid plus one and at the end we will return what we will return the answer okay we can do this thing in a separate uh this part on a separate uh, method as well but this one is shorter 
so this is the solution let's try to run it what happened find simple oh can repair sorry let's run it accept it so this is the solution i hope uh, how we reach to the conclusion that we are going to solve it using binary search is clear okay if we talk about the time complexity the time complexity is what a big o of n for this iteration right for this iteration and we are applying a binary search right on what on this range 1 to 1 e 14 isn't it 10 power 14 so 10 power 14 so this is our time complexity okay n log 10 power 14 okay this is the time complexity and our space complexity is of course constant we haven't used any extra extra space right so this is the solution i hope it's clear if you like this video do hit the like button share this video and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next one Bye bye